Welcome back to In Business. We heard it again yesterday from the Fed chairman himself. The nation's current fiscal course is unsustainable. Ben Bernanke urged lawmakers to at least come up with a plan to balance the budget, since that alone would give investors a certain degree of confidence. But one idea that seems to be gaining some momentum right now is a value-added tax, a VAT, as you know. It's common in Europe. It's similar to a sales tax, except it taxes each step of the supply chain, from the manufacturer to the wholesaler to the retailer, finally to the consumer. Some estimates say that it could raise more than $200 billion a year in tax revenue. So is that the right way to go? Is rolling out a VAT, VAT tax here in the United States going to help us? Well, we're going to hear both sides of the debate and the implications of it. With me here in studio is Michael Gratz. Or actually, um, we are actually joined by someone for and against it. Now, you are against the VAT tax. No, no, I'm actually, you I, are actually, for it, I actually believe we need one. But you believe we need one. The other gentleman that we have, Bob McIntyre, who is not with us, you can see him from Washington, that's his shot right there, um, has the, the counter to this. Here's the thing, Michael, because your argument for it is actually involving uh, the replacement of one tax with another, right? I mean, you're saying that the VAT should be rolled out but replace the income tax. Well, I'm saying that it should replace the income tax for every American with income under $100,000. But without that repeal, are you still pro of that tax? Well, I think we're going to need one. I don't think we're going to be able to raise the revenue we're going to need going forward just on the back of the income tax alone without really hurting ourselves in terms of economic growth and prosperity. But this is going to be a tax that, as we just explained here, rolls out to basically every level of the supply chain in here. So how is that not going to have some negative impact on the consumer's ability to purchase or willingness to do so? Well, a value-added tax is actually just like a sales tax. The, well, it's on top of a sales tax, no, actually. Well, no, actually, it's, it's, it, its effects are just like a sales tax. On a state-by-state -state basis, there would still be a, a tax that right. you would pay. There would still be an income tax as well. So let's bring in Bob McIntyre as well, who's with us from Washington. He's with uh, Citizens for Tax Justice. So from what you've heard uh, from Michael so far in terms of laying out this debate, what is it that you are concerned about? Well, the big concern is that a value-added tax or a national sales tax would be so regressive. It would be so tough on low-income people and middle-income people and so light on rich people. And why would we want to raise taxes that way? I mean, you could do a tax increase through the income tax to help cut the deficit, but it would almost certainly be more progressive than trying to get the money out of the people who have the least. And well, that's the main th objection. This country is the only really developed uh, economy, developed nation, without this real consumption tax. Well, that's true. And we, be, and we have a more robust income tax, and we need to make it more robust. That's a good thing. We should be proud as Americans that we have a federal tax structure that is at least a little bit progressive. Well, we are going to see a more robust income tax, right? Because we know that the, the Bush tax cuts are not going to be renewed. They will be repealed. So income tax, capital gains taxes, dividend taxes, they are all going up. Well, on, on wealthy people, that's true. Most of the Bush tax cuts, sadly, are being extended. And that's $3 trillion of our upcoming deficits. What do you make of that, Michael? I mean, because it, it does sound like a, a populist argument that's going to be easy to sell. You do have to do something uh, for low and moderate income people in order to make sure uh, that the tax is not terribly regressive. In my book about this topic, I suggest that you give them a debit card and let them be exempt from a certain amount of value-added tax. Tell me, Bob, in Europe, they do have an income tax and they have a VAT tax. Take the populist portion of the argument out for me and, and tell me why this isn't the right way to start to, to come up with some much needed funding. Well, I mean, you can raise money in a lot of ways. You could raise money by taxing wealthy people and corporations. You could raise money by soaking the middle class. Well, we already have you the highest, raise, one of the highest raise corporate money tax by, rates, by, and their income taxes are going up. So, with well, they're going to go up some, but we place. also have have we have very low taxes in almost every category compared to the rest of the world. And but an income tax can tax the same people that a value-added tax could, would tax if that's what you want. But if we you no, know, so make the income tax more regressive, if that if that's the kind of system you want. But why would you add a brand new tax that will double the size of the Internal Revenue Service in order to run it? It just seems silly. I don't think that the uh, uh, 
point that uh, Robert made about uh, doubling the size of the IRS is, is accurate at all. I think you can do it with a, a much Well, I got that from the smaller. Joint Committee on Taxation, who did a study on it a few years ago, and that was their conclusion, was that you would need twice as many IRS agents to run it, and that's based on the experience in Europe. So, uh, you know, you and I can debate it, but we know that it's going to take an, an awful lot more people, an awful lot more paperwork, and for what? So you can have a regressive tax system? There's no question we're going to need some more revenue. And I don't believe you're going to get progressivity by trying to tax corporations. You're going to inhibit economic growth if you try and do all of this on the back of the income tax. All right. Um, Bob McIntyre, very quickly because we have to wrap here. Would you be for that if we did roll back the corporate tax rate? No. The corporate tax is one of our progressive taxes, and we should deal with the problem that a lot of our companies aren't paying anything right now and fix, close those loopholes and fix that tax, too. All right. Thank you both, gentlemen.